Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to call stored procedure to display records on a browser using entity framework in ASP.NET MVC. And here we got the output on the browser from the database using stored procedures, the employee table records. Before writing the coding part, first let's check the database and the tables. I'm expanding the databases. The sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one as well as the tables. For this example, I'm using the dbo.employ table. Let's browse this table. Right click the right click the employ table, select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this employee table and this employee table contains six rows and three columns employee id employee name and join date now the second step i write the stored procedure to select records from from this dbo.employee table let's go to programmability expand that one stored procedures right click that one new stored procedure i'm deleting the default code create procedure dbo dot display emp is my stored procedure as begin select start from the table name is dbo dot employee table and let's execute the stored procedure and we got the message command completed successfully right click the stored procedure refresh and notice here the dbo.displayEMP this stored procedure as created in this stored procedures folder now it's time to write the coding part to call this stored procedure using entity framework in ASP.NET MVC. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. I'm using ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1 and I'm giving the name display entity framework stored procedure. Click OK. And I'm choosing the MVC4 template. Click OK. And we created the project successfully. Let's close this. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click the project name. Add new item. I'm choosing data. ADO.NET Entity Data Model. And the data model name is EMP model add I'm choosing the first option EF designer from database click new connection to connect my SQL server database the server name is After server name, I'm selecting the database name, which is sample DB. Test connection succeeded. Click OK. Before proceeding the next, I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file, and the connection string entity name is sample DB entities. Click next. I'm expanding the tables, expanding the DBO. As I told you, for this demo purpose, I'm using employee table. I'm selecting that one. 
At this moment, I am not selecting any stored procedures. Click finish. And here we got the employee data entity model. And in, and in the error list, it's saying that it does not have a primary key in the table. So just a warning, it's not an error. Let's close this. Right click the employee data entity model. Notice here, update model from database. Click that one. Now this time I'm choosing stored procedures and functions. I'm expanding that one, DBO, display EMP, which is our stored procedure name. Click finish. Right click the employee data entity model again, add new, function import. The stored procedure name is display EMP and I'm giving the function name also fun which is function display emp i'm leaving the entities which is employee table get column information here we got the column information click ok now go to solution explorer expand the controllers I'm not creating any controllers. I'm using the home controller only. If you want, you can create your own controllers, but I'm using home controller only. Open that one. I'm adding the my database connection string entity, which is sample DB entities. SD is equals to new sample DB entities. We'll do one thing. I put this inside return view sd dot fun display fun underscore display emp is a function name that's it in the controller go to solution explorer come to the bottom in the views expand that one the home index dot html click that one add model i enumerable in this i am adding my project name which is display e efsp display dot dot employee i am adding table tr th employee id th employee name th join date after adding the headers i'm adding for each loop creating a variable a result in model tr td at result dot emp id td at result dot employee name which is a column name td at result dot join data that's it one important thing make sure the road config file and make sure road config file the controller and action are the proper ones or not in my case my controller name is a home and the action is index only. Let's switch back to index.cshtml. We'll check the results on the browser. And here we got the output on the browser from the database using stored procedures, the employee table records. That's it. 
If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.